Welcome everybody back to the channel. This is Aaron Reed with 2530 Media. If this is your first time visiting the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And if you're a regular, you know what to do. So today we're gonna to talk all things organization. Now you guys know the books go 10.3 is my daily driver. It's what I use as a second brain device. It's what I use to write down my notes or brainstorming for my content creation. I use it as my daily driver at work as well. It's like my do all device that I use. So we're gonna talk about how I quickly navigate in between different documents like notes, PDFs, EPUBs, third party apps that I use like my email, my Obsidian app, and a couple of other things that I have on the 10.3 like user manuals for work, and other things. So we'll talk about how you can quickly navigate in between all of these files to get a task done, to be able to get that information you need to set up your brainstorming, to set up your day. If you want to jump between a note and a PDF or a PDF and a web page or your email and your daily calendar app, you can do all of these things with the 10.3, but about just one swipe. So let's get into it. So from the homepage of the 10.3, we're going to navigate to the uh, calendar memo app that is native to the 10.3. Today in the calendar memo app, we're going to focus on this area right here, which is going to give you quick access to notes, PDFs, and EPUBs. So the first thing we'll do is look into today's notes. Today's notes will be all the notes that we've opened up for today. Let's hop into one. So we've hopped into our quick ideas. Quick ideas is a notebook that I use to just jot down quick ideas when I have them on my mind. And then later on, I'll add them to another notebook to start a new idea. So what we'll do from this quick notes or this quick ideas is we'll copy this and we'll add it to a new YouTube video I'm working on. Once I've copied it, Let's navigate to that new note. We'll just simply use our swipe. Brings us back to our calendar app. And now we're going to open up that new note that I want to paste that to. Now that we're in our new note, let's paste the information that we want to paste. Now that I've pasted information, I can continue writing a note or I can access other files. Let's access the EPUB that we're going to um, be working on to add this information to. Now that I've added new information to the new note that I created from my quick notes, I think I'm going to access my EPUB to see where I want to incorporate this new information to. So what we'll do now is go back to our calendar memo app to access that quick access. After the back swipe like last time, now I'm gonna check out today's reads. Today's reads is gonna house any PDFs, EPUBs, or other documents that you brought on the 10.3. Let's access this. So now we've accessed an EPUB that I brought over that's a rough draft of a book I'm writing. And from here, we can check out our information. Let's say I need to go back in, add some notes to my outline that I've created. I back swipe. Now I'm back here at the calendar app and I can go to today's notes and I can jump back into that notebook. Now, what if I need to access a PDF from here? It's simple and easy. We can use our back swipe, go back to today's reads, and now let's access this sample PDF I brought over. Now that I'm at this sample PDF that I brought over and I'm going through the PDF, and I realize there is a web page attached to this PDF, and I might want to check that out for some more information. I clicked on my link and now it brought me to the web page for the information I want to check out. So 
So now that I'm here and I realized, you know what? I need to hop back to that quick notes that I made because I want to add some information that I read about on this website to those ideas. This is what we're going to do now. We're going to access our toolbar here at the bottom and we're going to access this middle icon here. This middle icon takes you to a landing page on the 10.3 that gives you quick access to your most recent documents or notes or third party apps that you've opened. So if you look at it here, you'll see I have a space for my Neo browser. I have spaces for my PDF. I have a space for my calendar memo app. I have a space for my notes and I have a space for EPUBs. So let's hop back into our notes. Now that I've hopped back into my notes, if I want to put some uh, information down from the website that I just went to, I can do that. So let's put it new information. Once I've done that, let's say I want to navigate back to my calendar memo app because I want to check out another note. I swipe down on my control center. And now I have a couple of options. You know what? Let's create a new quick note. Now that I'm back at the home screen, I'll hop into my notes app. And from here, let's create a quick note. Now that I've created a new quick note, I can simply write down any information that I want to write down. And if I need to navigate back to a different file or notebook, I can simply do that by swiping down on my control center, going back here. And now I can access my calendar memo app. And now I have access to my previously open files that I want to hop back in and I want to work on. Now I like to use Obsidian on my 10.3 and there could be some third party apps that you have loaded on your 10.3 that you would like to access. I'll show you guys how you can quickly access that from anywhere on the, on the 10.3. So we'll swipe down our control center again, and we're going to access this menu down here, but this time we're going to go to the home page. This takes me back to the home page of the 10.3 and gives me access to either third party apps, native apps, my notes app, storage, my library, the store, and even my settings. So we're going to hop in Obsidian. So now that we're in Obsidian, we can scroll through Obsidian and we can do whatever we want to do, add some notes to Obsidian, just read some information that you've already put in there. And if you want to hop back to a notebook or a file, you simply go here and now I have access to everything that I've opened from Obsidian. Now I have notes, my calendar app, my Neo browser, my PDF, and my EPUB. And this recent tab right here will allow you to hop back and forth in pretty much anything you open up. Let's open up the Play Store. Now I'm at the Google Play Store. Let's say if I need to look for an app that I want to install. Well, I didn't find anything that I wanted to install. So I can simply go back to here, navigate back to my calendar memo app, and I can hop back into one of the notebooks or files that I want to access. So we'll hop back into a new notebook. Now I'm in a new notebook where I can work on a new task. And when I'm done with that, I simply swipe back and I'm back at my calendar app. And this is how I quickly access files on the 10.3 to get my task done. All right, so basically this is how I navigate around the 10.3 using those quick access menus and using that toolbar at the bottom that will allow me to jump in between my notes, PDFs, files, 
you know, different websites, different third-party apps if you're using that. Let me know in the comments what you guys think. Do you guys think the books can improve on this? Because I don't think it's perfect. I think books can tweak it a little bit and let us have access to that quick access column that you would find inside the calendar app and a couple of different spots like in the notes app or on the bottom toolbar that I like to use. So let me know what you guys are running. If you're running a Supernote device or Remarkable or any other of the e-ink devices that are out there, let me know how that process works for you. If you think it works better than books or if you think books could work better than that one. So hit me up in the comments. Again, thank you guys for checking out the channel and we'll see you next time.